Hey guys, we can proudly say that we grew up watching Disney movies. Toy Story, Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin were our all time favourites. We remember people would rush to the video shops to book their copy as soon as Disney released the movie. With the advent of the streaming era and now Disney Plus, many of us have thrown out old DVDs and VHS tapes as they have become obsolete. Before the 21st century, there were only a few options for people who wanted to watch a Disney classic again. Buy it, rent it or wait for TV to air it on cable or the wonderful world of Disney. As the Disney childhood generation becomes adults, they return to family favourites with their children. Consider adding these Disney films to your watch list for your upcoming movie night to see if your feelings about them as an adult viewer have stayed the same. This video will show how much Disney World has changed since it was open to the public on October 1st 1971. So all the grandparents and parents, stay tuned to hear shocking facts about how Disney has transformed. Let's dive right in. Walt and Roy Disney established the Walt Disney Company in 1923. It soon began to create animated cartoons focusing on funny animals. Their initial two shows, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and Alice's Wonderland, debuted in 1923 and 1928 respectively. The most well-known figure, Mickey Mouse, made his debut shortly after in 1929. The company grew over time to become the largest independent media organisation in the world, according to CNNMoney.com in 2009. Disney currently makes more than just animated films. The business, which also manages well-known theme parks worldwide, has made a name for itself as a live-action film and television production pioneer. Regarding that, analysts estimate it spends far more when creating new parks, spending about three quarters of a multi-billion dollar budget each year on parks and resorts. Disney's flexible business strategy and involvement in numerous industries are vital components. In 2017, Andrew Sugarman, Executive Vice President of Publishing and Digital Media, remarked that storytelling is practically in our DNA. It's where we begin and end each day at Disney, he said. Disney, on the other hand, can elevate a story. Because the concepts of their films frequently embedded themselves so firmly into the minds of the audience, an increase in the sales of immersive items is anticipated. Other products, such as branded books, lunchboxes, stationery, etc., also bring in money. Then there is the caliber of the animator's work and the plot. Disney is recognized for its skill in the film industry, and many people turn to its products for pleasant family entertainment. Since Flowers and Trees in 1931, Disney has consistently won an Oscar, except for one or two years and one Academy Award in the 1970s. We all grew up watching Disney cartoons with characters like Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck and Goofy. We are all indebted to them for our formative years. However, suppose you were to learn about these purportedly hidden aspects of Disney. In that case, you could begin to question the company's claims that it's working to create the happiest place on Earth. Let's share some facts that Disney always wanted to hide from you. It should not be surprising to hear that Disney has a long history of producing films, and as a result, there is some racism to be found in them. Some instances are overt, as demonstrated by the Song of the South and a moment in Fantasia where dark-skinned centaurs served light-skinned centaurs as servants. Other examples, such as the crows in Dumbo, the Native Americans in Peter Pan, and the Siamese cats in Lady and the Tramp, are less practical. Scar survived a cliff fall in The Lion King, although it is assumed that his former hyena minions killed him. But it's interesting to note that, in a nod to earlier representations of the title character, Scar, or more precisely, Scar's skin, made an appearance in Hercules as a coat made of lion skin. There could be no mistake as to who was skinned to make the lion skin coat based on the coloration, the expression, and the trademark Scar, especially in light of Zazu's prediction that Scar would make a handsome throw rug in The Lion King. Other Disney parks have been shut down for unknown reasons. The most contentious of these was River Country, the first water park the corporation ever operated. Disney asserts that River Country's closure was brought on by a drop in foot traffic, but the reality is shocking. In 2001, a brain-eating amoeba called Nigleria fowleri was discovered in a lake in River Country. This lake provided most of the water for all the water slides. Some accounts claim that the park's shutdown was brought about by this amoeba because it directly attacks the human brain. Even more impressive is that the same amoeba was the reason for the death of a tourist in 1980. However, 
the River Country Park kept running until it was ultimately closed. One of the biggest media companies in the world, the Walt Disney Company, has come under fire for various reasons, including its business practices, executives and content. Walt Disney Studios has been criticised for sexism, the stereotyped presentation of non-white characters and plagiarism allegations. However, the parents of teenagers are now more cautious about what their children learn from Disney movies. Is it the same Disney that they enjoyed in their childhood? If it has transformed, Disney's new perspective is looking highly objectionable. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching.